time You want me to my heel and forget you All I know it can't be done I'm only asking once would you let me Take a minute of your time You might just be surprised with where it gets you All I know I'm in it for the ride But you don't Saturday. So I was going to try to show y'all my whole getting ready routine, but that didn't quite work out because my husband needed to get ready too. So we're actually getting ready to leave. We're going to a surprise birthday party on a um, like a little boat. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of boat, honestly, because of where we're going, but it should be fun. It's one of our friends. It's a man, um, but we're friends with both the husband and the wife. So yeah, I'm getting ready to put on my jewelry. So I figured I would talk to y'all since I haven't talked to y'all this morning. Hope y'all been having a good week. I decided to wear this little pineapple necklace because we're going on a boat. <laughs> so I need to be in theme, okay? Um, yes, it's November, but it's in the 80s or the high is in the 80s, so we'll be good. And I've really been having fun with my jewelry lately. This is an ear cuff that I've been wearing because I have been thinking about getting a piercing here. But then I was like, let me try out ear cuffs and see how they work. And so far they're working out really well. So I don't think I'll be getting a piercing. Got my wedding ring. My fingers feel a little bit swollen this morning, but I got these rings that I wear like every day. So I'm gonna put them over here today. Usually I switch, ooh, I'm ashy, but I'm gonna put on lotion in the car. So got that. And then my watch, of course my apple watch and then i'm gonna wear this bracelet today i have these bracelets on but i wear these every day i sleep in them so i'll usually just add to the stack or take away y'all know i used to have that um permanent bracelet but it broke like last week so i still have it uh, i may be able to get it fixed but i haven't like reached out to the company yet to do that so let me put this bracelet on real quick Okay, I usually put on my jewelry upstairs, so I put on my bracelet. I could have made it a little bit tighter, but um, yeah, this bracelet is kind of new to me. It's from Saks Fifth Avenue or off Saks Fifth Avenue. I need to tighten this, but um, I really like it. It's my first time wearing it. I've had it for a few weeks, but I haven't worn it yet. Um, but I bought this like bracelet helper to help you put on bracelets by yourself. And of course it's upstairs, so I couldn't use it. So I'll probably tighten it when I'm in the car, when I'm sitting down and I can focus. But yeah, that's the jewelry for today, the jewels. I'm having really a lot of fun with my jewelry. I reorganized it all. So I have like, I can see everything. I got rid of stuff um, that I was no longer wearing to either give away or to throw away if it was broke, tarnished, whatever. And yeah, I'm having fun like playing with my jewelry again. So anyway, I'm getting ready to switch my purse real quick. So I'll show y'all that too. All right, I have to do this real quick because my husband's waiting on me. <laughs> but I'm switching out of this bag. I've been carrying this the past few days. So I'm going to take out my card holder. I think I need pretty much everything in here. Keys. Actually, I don't need those keys because we're not driving my car. Um, I got lip gloss. I probably don't need either one of those. And I have a hand cream. So 
I am going to switch into my Telfar jelly bag. I hope this is not too shaky, y'all, but I'm trying to hand do this. Um, and I think I'm gonna take this too, just in case we go somewhere after and I don't feel like carrying this big jelly bag. So this is actually a cosmetic case that I put a chain on. So what I like to do sometimes is just pack this as a cosmetic bag and then like if I need to carry it as a purse, I can. So we're gonna do that real quick. So I'm just gonna put in here sanitizer, lotion, AirPods, and wallet. And then I have this bag here that I'm going to put my camera in because uh, I am going to take my camera because I do want to vlog and I don't want to do everything on my phone. So we'll see if I even use it, but I'm going to put my camera in there. And then I, I think I'll put my perfume in this as well. I can always take that out if I need to. So let's zip this up. All right, so that will go in there quite easily. I'm gonna put my camera in here and then we'll be done. All right, so that's that. That's my bag. And let me get out of here. It's usually me with the jeans on, but. Yeah. 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 I think he's just drinking it out of the bottle. I mean, it's all right. I think George is drinking it out of the bottle. That's not the same question. Maybe it was Jimmy T without lemonade. I was about to say, you don't do no I know Chase today in my lexicon. Hey, hey, hey. Trust me. Chase is 39. I ain't 29. Trust me, trust me. They come back. I'm not 29. I'm actually 42. I knew you wanted to. They looking. He They looking. They They looking. So I am back home, tired, but um, I had a little bit of time and I got this package from Sephora, so I wanted to share it with y'all. This is the rest of my Sephora VIB haul because obviously I can't just do one order. I had to do another one. <laughs> it's not that much stuff though, but it was like something that I realized I forgot that I meant to get during the sale. So of course I didn't just order that because who does that, right? So... Oh wait, I didn't order this. Okay, so I got something in my box that I did not order. This is the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade light medium eight. So this is not even gonna work for me, but I didn't order this. So they mispacked this. All right, I ordered this, which this is one of the things I forgot to order that I knew I wanted to reorder, but this is the All Day Hydrating uh, Body Cream from Sephora. I really like this. It's an unscented body butter and it's very hydrating, but it's not like extremely heavy. So I really like the texture of this. So I ordered two more backups of this because you know the Sephora brand products were 30% off. So that was a plus. And then there are a couple of Forever Mood candles on sale that I really wanted that were like in my loves list. So I went ahead and, just, and ordered them because they were they were marked down because I think Forever Mood is changing their formulation and packaging and everything. So they were marked down and then I got my 20% off. So I went ahead and ordered them. So this one is called Spice of Life and it's supposed to be fresh and spicy. Let's smell it. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to smell like right now. I feel like I'm having a hard time smelling it. It does smell fresh, but it's kind of like lightweight. So I think this is gonna be good just for like a day-to-day -day candle, like in my office or something. I don't like the cookie. You don't? No. Okay. 
I don't see the notes on the box of what it's supposed to smell like, but it's very kind of like fresh and it's a little bit spicy, but it's more so like fresh and a little bit green and slightly sweet. So we'll see how this does when it burns. And then the other Forever Mood candle that I ordered is this one. It's called Not Down to Earth. And this one is, um, says scent details are top notes, fur needles, eucalyptus, light citrus, heart notes are clove, cinnamon, apple, ginger, orange flower, basil. Base is olibana, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, vetiver, and tonka. So this is what this one looks like. Let me smell it. Okay, this one smells really good. It's interesting. It has those deep spices in it, but it also has this fresh nature to it. I really like this one. So I will be saving those, putting those in my little candle cabinets. And then another thing I ordered is this. So this is the Nude Sticks, um, what is this, like tinted lip butter? Yeah. So these I heard are similar to the Sunday Riley. They come in these different tints. And so I decided to order this. It was a lot less expensive than Sunday Riley. And it comes in three shades. I think this whole thing was like $15 or something. I don't know. But this first one is Sugar Plum. And then there's one in here called Dolce Nude. I believe this one is clear. And then the last one is Candy Kiss, which is a soft pink tint. Actually, the Dolce Nude is supposed to be a shimmer tint gloss and caramel. So we're going to actually just go ahead and put that on now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can see it there. I can't see it because I'm just looking at my camera right now, but it feels really good on the lips and it smells good. Mmm, that smells really good. It smells like caramel. I wonder if they're, all of them smell different. I like that so far. I mean, I can't really see it, like I said, but it feels really nice. So that's, oh, that's delicious smelling. <laughs> so hopefully these work out for me because I've heard great things about them and they're less expensive than the Sunday Riley. And y'all know I wanted another Sunday Riley set that they didn't have in store, even though they do have it on the website, but I did not order it yet because I decided to try these out. And then the thing that I realized I forgot that I really needed to order is this. This is the K-Skin, um, lip mask and I love this lip mask and it came in this set with the lip balm uh, that has SPF 30 in it so I think this is like the same price as mine the lip mask by itself but I have used this lip mask before used it all up and I wanted to repurchase it however my store does not have it so last time when I ran out I just purchased what they had in store stock which was the Laneige but I really prefer this one this is my favorite lip mask that I usually keep up in my bathroom and apply at night or in the morning and it's just very moisturizing non-sticky and i felt like it kept my lips in really good shape so i have not tried the regular lip balm from them but i am happy to have this as well because i've heard that it feels very similar to the lip mask and it has spf 30 in it okay and i did not order this either <laughs> but this is the boom boom cream from so de janeiro which i love but i didn't pay for this and i know this was not like a free sample this is too big I, to be a free I've sample, seen, so. I've seen that before. You've seen this before? Yeah, I used to have a small one. So, yeah, this is like a travel size. So, this got packed into my box and it wasn't supposed to be. And one more thing got packed in here that I did not order. This is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush. Y'all, I got all kinds of stuff for free. So, I guess I'm going to have to call them because, I don't know, I feel kind of bad getting stuff that I didn't pay for. But this is a pretty blush. Even though, like, they've gotten enough money out of me. Like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> they probably won't take it back anyway, to be honest. Because last time this happened to me, I took it back and they refunded the money onto, like, a gift card. And I'm like, I didn't pay for it. Like, I didn't. So, it just, they just never understood that I didn't pay for this, but I got this stuff. And they just gave me the money for it. So, I don't know. I probably should just keep it. Um, but that's what it looks like. So, yeah. Your girl worked out. Worked it out. <laughs> I got everything I ordered plus stuff I didn't order, which never really happens. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share that stuff with y'all. And we are getting ready to head out to the mall. Be careful with that. We're getting ready to head out to the mall. They're lighting the tree for the first time. What? what are you doing? They're lighting the tree for the first time. And on the first night, they always do fireworks and stuff. So, so we usually like to go on the first night. But 
they do it like when once they start they do it like the song and everything they do it every night until after christmas but on the first night it's the only night they do fireworks and all that so we're gonna go eat dinner at the mall and watch the show so anyway can you leave my chapstick alone hey i want to hey. have some hey. 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 all right so guys i hope you guys have a good day and see you next time peace Okay. <laughs> Can I do a video? All right, so I'll see y'all soon. I'm making it really neat, so. There you go, have fun. Go this way. Baby. Chloe, go this way. And they'll give you an inner tube and get the bottom of the strips because there's. Is he going to? He doesn't want to go. I don't believe him. <laughs> Whoa. Go open the door. Go open the door for us. Go open the door. Oh, it's a snowman. I left my watch in there. No, you don't. You don't have to. We literally.